On August 31, Chinese authorities announced that the number of C-19 infection cases on the mainland was zero in 15 days and only 17 from foreign countries alone. Of course, the whole world didn't believe it. However, China has reported extensively on Wuhan Water Park Festival and Qingdao Beer Festival saying that the C-19 is no longer a big problem in China. However, contrary to Beijing's claims, extreme quarantine continues within China making it hard to trust the announcement that there are no confirmed cases. Recently, an apartment in Darian, Liaoning province suffered from food shortage due to unexpected quarantine measures, causing a major dispute between residents and CCP policies. Mr. Chun, who lives in the apartment, explained the situation like this. At 5 a.m., when the government issued a full blockade without notice, complaints came out from residents who had no way to get daily necessities and food. Several cities, including the Urumqi city of Xinjiang region, have been blocked one after another. Also, Urumqi Authority is forcing residents to, to take whole uh, medicines on fixed time every day. A woman who did not give her name because of fear of China shared her experience through an interview. She was forced to drink a medicine that made her feel weak and nauseous, and guards were watching as she took medicine. She and the others also had to strip naked once in a week and cover their faces as guard host them and their cells done with a disinfectant. There is a lack of rigorous clinical data showing traditional Chinese medicine works against the virus, and one of the herbal remedies used in Xinjiang, Qingfei Paidu, includes ingredients banned in Germany, Switzerland, the US, and other countries for high level of toxins and carcinogens. Fang Ximin, a former biochemist and writer known for his investigation of scientific fraud in China, said, None of these medicines have been scientifically proven to be effective and safe. China also recklessly blocks the residents' home, as they did during the Wuhan blockade. All roads are blocked, so any vehicles cannot enter. After banning residents from coming out of their house, they also put up these instructions on the door. Home is gorgeous. No visit is welcome. Confinement is good. This video was filmed in Xinjiang on July 28 this year, not last year. Some government officials are putting iron bars in front of their doors so that residents can never come out. The area looks like an abandoned city, with no one in sight of how heavy the blockade has been. After Chinese government relentless quarantine procedures in Xinjiang, the comparison video of the Xinjiang has become a hot topic on the internet. In addition, there are rumors among Chinese that Xinjiang is now very dangerous of C-19. Of course, the Chinese government officially said it wasn't, but in fact, urgent construction of the temporary hospital in Xinjiang was found from netizens. Xinjiang's Urumqi has already been sealed off for more than a month by a radius of 1,000 kilometers. Farmers, fruits and vegetables are all decayed, so they are forced to give all the crops to the ship.